In these problems, we're looking at some of the characteristics of quadrilaterals. So squares, rectangles, rhombuses, parallelograms, kites, trapezoids, those kinds of things. This first one says given ABCD is a rhombus and ADB, so that would be this angle right here, is 60 and DE equals 13, so this one's 13, find the length of AD, so we want to find this side right here. Well, one of the characteristics of a rhombus that you should know is that their diagonals are perpendicular. So they cut each other at a 90 degree angle. So what we've got here, we know um, that this is 60 degrees. We know this is 90. This must be 30. This is a 60, 30, 90 triangle. And if we just draw that off to the side here, here's our 30, here's our 60. This is the side that's 13. You might remember that in a 60, 30, 90 triangle, the sides are in the ratio of 1, 2, and square root of 3. And it's this two side, the hypotenuse, that's right here, that's AD, that we want to find. So all we have to do is figure out the ratio between 1 and 13. Well, 13 is 13 times 1. So to figure out the two side, we just have to take 13 times 2. So AD equals 26. All right, let's look at a few more. These require some thinking about, uh, with logic, about the characteristics of different quadrilaterals, and these can be a little tricky, so let's work through these. It says, which of these descriptions would guarantee that the figure is a trapezoid, but not a parallelogram? And remember, a trapezoid kind of looks like that, a short base and a long base and two sides. And a parallelogram is like that, sides the same length, both sets parallel to each other. So we want to find something that um, defines a, a trapezoid and not a parallelogram. This first one says a quadrilateral with two pairs of adjacent congruent sides. Well, two pairs of adjacent congruent sides mean that they're next to each other and they measure the same length. And that actually is the definition of a kite. Those two sides would be the same length, these two sides would be the same length, and you've got a kite there. So I don't think it's A. B says a quadrilateral with exactly two parallel non-congruent sides. So if you look at this trapezoid, these two sides are parallel. They're not congruent, they're not the same length. So that seems to, to fit. It's exactly two of those in there. So this looks like a good possibility. A, qua a, a parallelogram does not have that. A parallelogram would have t um, four sides that are parallel. So let's look at C, just to make sure. We think it's B, but let's check these others. C says a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite angles supplementary. Well, that could happen in something other than um, um, a trapezoid. Or D, a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel congruent sides. And that absolutely is a parallelogram. So looks like B is going to be our answer there. Let's try a couple more of these. This next one says, which of these descriptions would not guarantee the figure was a parallelogram? So three of these are going to guarantee it's a parallelogram. One of them, the one that we're looking for, is not going to guarantee it. A says, a quadrilateral with two opposite angles that are congruent. Hmm. So let me try a kite again. So if I've got a kite like this, and uh, I would have opposite angles that might be congruent. So maybe this angle would be the same as this angle, um, or vice versa, that angle, that angle. But that wouldn't be a, a parallelogram. So I'm pretty sure this is our answer. This does not guarantee that it's a parallelogram. Let's look at the others and see if they do guarantee it's a parallelogram. B, a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. That's a parallelogram. That also describes um, a rectangle or a square. Um, but those are both subsets of parallelograms. C says a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides congruent. That would definitely guarantee um, uh, a, a, um, a parallelogram. And D, a quadrilateral with the diagonals bisecting each other. That's something you're definitely going to see in those uh, parallelograms and the subsets of a parallelogram, such as a square or a rectangle or a rhombus.
So it looks like A was our answer there. All right, let's try one more of these. This one says, which of these descriptions would not guarantee the figure was a square? So three of them are definitely going to be squares, one of them not. So A says a quadrilateral with congruent and perpendicular diagonals that bisect each other. So you have some kind of quadrilateral and the diagonals are perpendicular. They cut each other exactly in half and they're the same length. That's going to happen in a square. So this one it looks like it fits with a square, so it's not the one we're looking for. Let's look at B. A quadrilateral with all angles congruent. Aha, see now I can think of something that has all the angles congruent, all the same measure of angles, 90, 90, 90, and 90. That's not a square, that's a rectangle. So I think B is going to be our answer, but let's make sure C and D guarantee a square. C says a parallelogram with diagonals congruent and perpendicular which really describes this again. You've got two sets of parallel sides, so a square is a type of parallelogram, and we've got our diagonals congruent and perpendicular. D says a rectangle, and a square is a type of rectangle, with diagonals that are angle bisectors. So think about that. That does happen in a square. These angles get cut exactly in half into 45 degree angles. In a rectangle, that wouldn't necessarily happen. You have these long diagonals, and so you end up having uneven uh, cutting of the angles. So it looks like B is definitely going to be our answer there. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.